Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's kind of a cold January afternoon. I'm back out here underneath uh, some high voltage transmission lines that run right along the north border of my property. My property line is probably right down the center of it. And I'm back out here setting up an experiment for later when it's dark. I'm going to try lighting up uh, fluorescent tubes underneath these transmissions line. I've seen it was done before and I want to try it here but there's a few things I need to prepare so I'm all ready for when it's dark. In the last video I showed these power lines were sizzling and humming in the early morning and I was trying to figure out what was going on because it's kind of unusual to hear it like that and I was hearing it from a long ways away. Anyway, I called up the power company and they were telling me, well, that sizzling that you hear at times is because there's either a lot of moisture on the line, a lot of moisture in the air, but in this case there would have been a lot of frost on the line and that was causing that sizzling and humming that I was hearing. So I kind of got that question answered. So now I'm going to set up for this next experiment I had in mind of lighting up fluorescent tubes. For this uh, experiment, I wanted to have a good ground available, so I got a piece of rebar here I'm going to pound in. I chewed it up a little bit with the grinder, so I'll get good contact with the ground. So I'm going to dry this in, I'll have to go through the frost, and I'll have something available. I don't know if I'll be using it, but I want to have something available. There, that'll work. I have a ground available now if I choose to use it or need it during the experiment. And I also made up sort of an antenna if I need that too, just to get a little bit higher to the power lines. Well, these power lines, I think they're probably about 40 feet in the air, maybe a little more. And I got about maybe a 10 foot antenna here. I guess I'm curious enough to try it, so we'll see what happens later on when it's dark. These are the fluorescent tubes I'll be taking out there when it's dark to test out. I just got these at some discount prices. I think they all work. Some are from a ReStore, kind of like new old stock, but I think they all work. This first one looks just like a, the very standard fluorescent tube. It's four feet long. About an inch and a half diameter, and this is a 40 watt one. This next one over here is about an inch diameter, the same length, 48 inches long. This one says it's a 32 watt one. This one here is a 30 watt one, it's a little bit shorter. I think it was about 32 inches long. It says it's 30 watt right there. This one here, it's U1. Um, it looks like it's about two feet long, maybe. I don't know what the wattage is on this one. It, it doesn't say. <laughs> but I probably got maybe, I think it was $6 for all these. And that's what I'll be taking out there to try out. And I'll just hold them up in the air to see if they light up. And I'll take some clip leads out there to attach it to a ground to see what that does. And on the other end, I can attach a clip lead to that little makeshift antenna I got to see what that does. But we'll wait to see what happens when it's dark. Well, I'm back out here now in the dark. Brought all the fluorescent tubes out here. And each one of them I stick up there gives a little bit of glow. But it's really hard to pick up on the phone. I'm showing it here. You might be able to see it a little bit. Each one of them did a little bit of glow. Well, I'm walking around a little bit. Can see the tube glow some. Kind of disappointed at how these cameras work in the dark. But it's kind of cool that these light up. I don't have anything hooked up to this tube at all right now. It's just I'm just holding it with my hand. But it is I suppose maybe if I hold it way up there that's probably about 10 feet to the top of the tube probably maybe seven foot to the bottom. I'll hold it down a little bit. So 
this is just straight out in front of me now that's about the height of the tube I suppose the top of the tube is still maybe seven feet I'll bring it closer yeah when I got when I got about four foot off the ground it went out right there and it comes back on I'm gonna keep walking off to the side of the power line I guess you can't see the towers at all on this camera but I'm not directly under the power line anymore actually I'm going south and well it's just completely dark out here can't see anything but right starting to get a little bit dimmer I gotta be about 30 feet from the power line right now I think it's still glowing Oh, that's interesting. I'm quite a ways from the power line and I'm walking. There it went out. Right there it went out. Start backing up. Right there. So I'm about, I'm probably maybe 40 feet from the power line and it's glowing. And this is that narrow tube. I'm just holding it with my bare hands. Nothing's connected to it. Oops. Hard to see where I'm walking. Well, I am getting some activity, but this is the bigger tube I got holding up right now. You can make it out a little bit. It's not real bright. Oh, well, on the camera, it's not real bright. But I can see it pretty good without the camera. Just with the eye, I can see it pretty good. But even sticking the ground to the one end didn't really change that much. So what I ended up doing to get some brightness out of one, this is the other four foot tube. It's a one inch diameter, four foot long. And what I got, I got this one hooked up to the ground on one end and my makeshift antenna to the other end. And I just got it set up against that sawhorse that's sitting there. And you can't really see the antenna out there, but it's about nine feet off the ground. It was just a scrap piece of uh, aluminum. And that's making it pretty bright. It looks brighter in person than it does on the camera phone. But that was the only way I could get any brightness really out of it. That would show up good on the camera. And you can see it from quite a ways away. So I'm getting some effect. Right now it's kind of hard to see through the camera, but the one tube on the left is hooked up just to my makeshift antenna. There's no ground connection. The bigger tube, just right next to it, is glowing a little bit. It's got the ground connection, but no antenna connection. And I'm gonna switch the antenna connection over to the bigger tube. Okay, that one went dark. And really hard to see out here. There. Now I got the bigger one hooked up to the antenna in the ground. I'm gonna move it around a little bit or something. And I guess the little one was a little bit brighter. This one isn't as bright as the other one was. It's glowing and it's just sitting on the ground. So that's kind of the effect I'm getting. And this is a clip of just that U-shaped fluorescent tube. I just have it setting right on top of the sawhorses. I got my little antenna connected on one end and the ground connected on the other end. Not real bright, but it is glowing. I guess that little four-foot little tube is working the best out of all of them. And here I got the little 
narrow tube, four foot long tube hooked up by itself again. It's the one that seems to be working the best. And when I was hooking this ground up to there, I'm going to see if I could see, I'm, I could even see it spark a little bit. I don't know if you can see that sparking. That's just me touching my little antenna wire to the fluorescent tube. So that thing is putting on a little bit of spark here. Hmm, very interesting. And that's just that little tube. Well, it's a four foot tube, inch in diameter. That's the one that seems to work the best. And it's just leaning up against the sawhorse. One end is on the ground. Connected up to the makeshift antenna on the top. And the ground connection on the bottom. And it shows up quite a ways away, bright enough. Well, this was all sort of a demonstration of the transmission of energy through the air. And it's all pretty interesting. This is the fluorescent tube that was glowing the brightest. It's that one inch one that's four feet long. Just a standard fluorescent uh, tube as far as I know. It's a mercury vapor. It's a West Point commercial bulb it says. But that's the one that was glowing the brightest. The other ones are somewhat a little bit dimmer for some reason. All of them are glowing to some extent but this one seemed to be the best that was working for me. When I talked with the power company, they informed me that the voltage on that line was 230,000 volts. For some reason, I was thinking it was 176,000. I don't know if the electrician told me that, but anyway, that was a 230,000 volt line. It was pretty interesting how that EM field from that line spreads out so much, you know, even way off to the sides of the lines themselves. So that was kind of interesting. Now with the antenna I was using, I was confident that it'd be safe enough for a short trial. I had it propped up against a sawhorse, kind of stuck alongside its leg, and the height was about nine feet tall off the ground. And I had equipment, you know, parked and passed through there. It was higher than that. So I was pretty sure that it was going to be all right for a short time. But for the sake of this video and for safety, I don't recommend that anybody try that. And you certainly won't want to leave something like that set up there very long because then the power company might have something to say about that. What did surprise me a little bit was the spark that I was getting off of that antenna wire when I touched it to the top of the tube. It started me thinking of other experiments I might want to try. So it's likely I will be back out under those transmission lines trying something else that might not be very safe. And I'll probably have a video of that coming up. So uh, thank you for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one.